What's good YouTube, it's your boy DB back again with an update on my Star Wars Galaxy Heroes Return. Uh, I know I haven't really been around all that much and really it's just been a case of, well, Christmas period has been pretty busy and uh, even though I've had some time off work I've been just kind of chilling with my little boy so um, I hope you had an awesome Christmas and a great new year too. Uh, however, I am still playing Galaxy of Heroes. This is a question I keep getting from people. People keep asking me, did I did I just stop again uh, because I hadn't made any more YouTube content? Um, I have I have actually done a few streams over on Twitch. I haven't done that many, um, but I've done a few. This year, I'm probably going to ramp up more on YouTube again um, in regards to you know pre-recorded videos. They're just easier for me to do with my current lifestyle and schedule. Um, it's something I can record during like break at work, you know, because I work from home. Uh, so I'll be able to do that kind of thing and not have to uh, try and find a dedicated two or three hours for a live stream. That said, uh, I've been grinding away on Galaxy Heroes, having quite a bit of fun on it. Yes, I am enjoying it. You have heard that right. It's been quite a change of pace for me, as you guys will remember from when I was originally playing and covering the game. Um, I was very much um, an end game player but I was also one of the only free to play content creators that had any sort of you know, size in regards to subscribers and viewership. So um, I was kind of one of the, the big names that was under a lot of pressure to keep up with those players that spend a lot of money. Um, and it was next to impossible, especially once I lost my test account, I just really couldn't keep up covering things. And then I got screwed by the uh, the, the release of Commander Tano. Um, I redeemed some shards that never appeared in my account and this happened live on stream and I showed CG and they didn't care at all so I missed the unlock which is that's the kind of thing that's put me further and further behind um just made covering the game difficult so I play it differently now I just play it pretty chill quite for, yeah, for fun um I'm still discovering a few bits I've had some fun on the new territory territory battles isn't it the, the empire one I've had a bit of fun on there um, I, would go to, I was going to drop a few videos, but unfortunately I was kind of doing those battles late at night when my boy was staying, so couldn't really record. Um, but I, I, I should look through a couple of videos coming up for the early phases. If you guys have any footage for the later phases that you'd like to kind of run by me, I could possibly cover that too. Um, but my guild only get to about phase three or four in regards to planet kind of progress. Um, through the yeah the, the six phases we're actually playing. Um, let me show you how my account is actually going. Um, I'll show you what I'm working on first and foremost. So my grind right now is getting Star Killer. A lot of you all know that I'm a big fan of Star Killer. I love the character, um, and I also love a lot of the the video game related stuff um, that was coming into Swagger that wasn't all that popular with the bulk of the original trilogy fans. But I, you know, I happen to love Star Killer, so um, being able to unlock him pretty soon is something I'm excited about. Let me just get off the mods so you can see the progression. Uh, Dash is ready. Carl is ready. Uh, Darth Talon, I've just got to farm the... the uh, I think... Yeah, one of them salvage. Is there one materials? Um, yeah. Okay, data. That's what. That's the word I'm looking for. I forgot the lingo, guys. Give, give, give me some time to catch up on it. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm a little low on the signal data after having pumped so many relics together. Uh, I've got my first Omicron. I got my first Omicron, so I'm pretty pumped about that. My Wampa. Um, but as you can see, in regards to the star killer, all the all that remains is Mara, and it's just a case of a shards. I'm doing a couple of refreshes on her daily. Um, I've pre-built the first three bits of gear here. Um, I'm about to build this one for her as well, which is the same as Echo. Echo got it first. It's one of the furnaces. I have everything I need for her 12.6. It's just her 12.5 piece that I have left to build um, as the same for Echo because they all seem to use the same piece of gear you know, to, to, to create the parts. Um, I forget the name of it. It's this bloody thing. Uh, these, the med packs. I just need a ridiculous supply of those because I need them again to finish my Watt off and to take him into uh, Relic as well. Because now, now I'm doing this new TB, I kind of miss the interaction of him and my of, um, of my like zombie palp. So uh, I'm going to have to bring him up soon. I've tagged a few characters that I want to work on. Uh, Infus Nest I want to bring up. I want to bring up Cara Dune now because adding Kar to my Mon team, um, that team is now somewhat useful, finally. 
uh, before I really only had like uh, Mon teaming with Wedge and Biggs and then after that everything else was like gear 8 and it sucked but adding Carp Katana I've had a couple of holds and I've brought my Kara up from gear 8 now as you can see uh, unfortunately she's a bit behind the queue behind Echo and, and, and she was behind Talon for a few things and now she's behind Mara so she's just got to wait a moment uh, but I'll bring her up too I liked Kara in the, in the show um, but my Bad Batch are coming along, hence why I've buffed Echo, because I know he's kind of the piece you have to shut down due to his high speed. So Echo's coming along. I don't really know which one's important next in Bad Batch, if there's another one that's you know actually has a secondary importance. But, um, you know, my intention is to bring Bad Batch along, because I would like to get Vader after I've got my Star Killer, uh, Dark Trooper, uh, Kiadi Mundi, characters I would just like to bring up anyway. Um, I really like, is it Sana? Sana? I, I don't know how to pronounce the name. I really like her. Um, I, I got to play around with her in the release like all of us did. Such a fun character. That, that team was great fun. And it was using characters I've already got built up like Lando and Rolo and, and stuff that's already been forced to be built. So I would already have her team. So I'd like to build her up too. Um, Fennec Shand, I've just happened to have got her shards. So I might actually didn't mean to click on her so i might bring her up um shortly uh, i'm farming this geezer at the moment because i thought he was cool in the show i don't really know if he's any good at the game but i saw his hut cartel and that's something i'm gonna have to get anyway um these are just here because i didn't have them unlocked but now i do they're not actually something i'm gearing at the moment but yeah back onto one part my first omicron um i went and got him done i've remodded him he was previously i think crit damage crit chance maybe, maybe offense and crit chance i can't remember um and he was just not doing the business even with the omicron he was getting beat by teams he should be able to build uh, beat so i've rebuilt his modding um and he's not bad he's not he's not too bad now um i've started to bring a lot of these up i mean that's a, a 25 speed secondary on there with a health primary 24 speed secondary 19 on there at the minute uh 15 18 18 and all these have a bunch of slices yet to go um so yeah he's really starting to slap and he's starting to pick up some wins which i'm excited about and that's it with him at relic five i intend to buff his relic once i've got the star kill a lot out of the way too uh 119 speed that's not bad when it's all secondaries you know don't don't have a primary on him or anything so having a bit of fun with Wampa. I'm closing in on my second Omicron. I have yet to decide who it's going to be. I'm hearing good things about Treya though. And as you guys know, big fan of the Knights of Republic uh, franchise. So I do Treyas. Uh, I was considering Dash just for another defensive team to kind of thicken up my GAC. Because GAC has been a problem for me. I came back, I think I was in Kyber 2 still somehow. Um, and it was just impossible quite frankly you gotta think um you know i don't have data crons i didn't have any omicrons and loads of secondary teams that, that were throwaway that can't do anything now have omicrons and therefore are useful but i didn't have any and my opponents have like eight so they're able to get more use and they, they they've got all these extra teams purely because they've got one of these ability mats um, and it's just put me so far behind. I had a really difficult time. I think I managed to pick up one win in Kyber 3. Um, and then I fell into 4. I believe um, I've actually kind of found a weird home. Somewhere between 4 and 5. Yeah, it is. Um, I'll 4 to 5 and I'll win easily. And I'll, I'll move back to 4. Where it'll be 50-50 and I'll fall back to 5. And then I'll come back up again. So that seems to be where my account uh, kind of lays right now um but with what i'm building my knowledge of the game i get a feeling i'll, I'll be pretty solid in kyber 4 again before long so um some of those losses in kyber 4 have been very very close i get beat by a couple of couple of banners and that's because i've dropped somewhere but i've been really efficient everywhere else um and it's just one of those things you know my opponent has been beaten uh, would have been beaten had i not made that drop uh, because I was more efficient than them on a battle-to-battle -battle basis. So, Sue's a couple more of those characters up there. A bit more defense, um, Omicron, and I think I think I'll be able to start scrapping back. Getting Bad Batch done should really help my uh, offensive uh, line as well, because I know they take out a few decent teams I don't really have a dedicated counter for at the moment, and it's caused me to break a lot of things up. So, GAC has been my biggest headache, because... Uh, obviously, I came back in a league that my roster was just not equipped for, so it was just nigh impossible. 
Um, my thoughts on Datacrons? Kind of something and nothing. I've fought several uh, Datacron teams. Um, didn't really notice a massive difference. Uh, I have yet to actually put one on any of my teams. Haven't really looked into it all that much. Um, mostly because I've not really had any difficulty fighting them yet. I think that's more of an end game issue. I do see them every GAC, but they don't seem to make a difference. The counter still seems to win. So um, right now, I've, I've not really bothered with them. Omicron's really been where I've focused and getting the newer characters unlocked. Uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of how it is. Really, I'm I'm a bit behind, and my GAC league wasn't in sync with my roster, and that's that's been the bulk of what I'm doing. But you know, I'm enjoying territory war. I'm enjoying territory battle. Um, I'm having quite a few bits of fun in the in these events. Oh, e Executor. I was ready for Executor one day after it disappeared in November. So I didn't get to do it in November. I completely forgot about it in December because it doesn't seem to pop up anywhere on the screen to actually alert you that it's back. Um, so I'm having to wait till January despite having been ready on the 16th of December. So that really sucks. Um, I grinded as well and I missed it by a day and then I've gone and screwed up and now I'm not getting it for two months. So, But yeah, overall, I'm enjoying the game right now. Um, I'm still in AOK, -OK, the, the guild that I founded. I'm in one of the middle divisions called the Immortal 50, who are a really cool group. I'm enjoying it so far, no complaints. Um, yeah, so, oh, Conquest has been all right too. I quite enjoy Conquest. I found a few neat tricks, but I assume they're about to do a rotation soon. So I've liked the feat, so I haven't bothered doing a video. Um, but yeah, uh, everything's everything's been fun since playing it in a different kind of with a different outlook So I highly recommend that if, if you guys are burning out the way that I was burning out and having issues with the game Step back just just play it for for the fun of it work on the teams you want work on the characters you like don't Don't focus so much on on the meta and having to win everything and you'll probably have a better time because that's something I certainly have had um but yeah i hope you guys will still continue following me on this journey and my intention is to start doing videos monday to friday as i said during my kind of work break um won't all be i've just clicked the wrong screen bear with me they won't all be uh galaxy heroes i do cover a couple of the games i like my card games so there's one called splinterlands that i like and i'm getting some serious five head going on right now because my hair's all pulled back under my hat um <laughs> but yeah i uh i'll do a few videos on that and i also i run an esports league called the w3e and uh so i'll probably cover a few things that we're working on there um i'm actually making a return to esports i haven't played in esports since 2008 so um I'm, I'm doing a little bit in the game that uh w3e actually focuses on called eve.io it's a first person shooter it's a browser based game it's designed to be low spec so if you look at it and go oh the graphics suck it's supposed to look that way it's designed so everyone can play it without a high end graphics card you can play this thing on a on a laptop or a mobile phone you know um, but the mechanics of the game are great fun so i'm going to be returning in some of those competitions early this year like january and february so keep an eye out for those um, and we'll cover all this sort of thing on the channel. But uh, yeah, there are probably some Web 3 games getting dabbled in along with some Web 2. And I'm looking forward to the next uh, Star, Wars, Star Wars... I can't speak today. The next Star Wars uh, Cal game. Was it uh, Fallen Order was the first one. I forget the name of the new one. But I'm looking forward to it. And I'm bound to cover that too. So, oh, that was a lot to get out in a, a short time. I'm trying to squeeze that video as quick as I could. Uh, 14 minutes I have to do. Thank you for watching guys. I'll be back with another video tomorrow So tune in uh, check your boy out throughout the week and on the weekends. I'll be with my boy Thanks for watching. Hope you all have an awesome year um, Let's get to this till next time. We out of here